Yo everybody, today I have 10 small size bridge designs for you. I'd use these bridges up to 7 or 8 blocks long, although some of these could probably be stretched further. Keep in mind that these bridges scale in order with wealth and the amount of traffic that they would see, so consider that before you decide which one would fit best in the area that you're building in. First is a very rundown bridge. If you have a house in a swampland or a beaten down path, then this is something that I would use. A very poor looking, very nasty, and it really adds to that feeling of of poverty. The next two are about as simple as my bridges get. Numbers two and three are also low class bridges, similar in use to number one, except more of a dedicated walkway. Number two is more of an organic design for crossing diagonals. Number three is clean cut straight across. Just show that there are many ways to use the same design. Four and five are also similar variations of each other. Number four, raised off the ground a little bit. If you have a wider body of water, then you could probably stretch this and raise it up a little bit so you could fit a boat underneath of it. Number five, on the other hand, I would use in a situation where you want to be immersed in your surroundings, such as a Zen garden, the pathway through it, as you can clearly see everything around you as you walk over it. Let's bring everything up a level where you're gonna be working a few blocks above the water. This is a suspended bridge, very similar, very simple design, just hanging down a little bit. Use these to your advantage. These are new to, I believe, 1.9 they came out and they open up the possibilities of bridges a ton. Number seven is something that you'd be looking to build if you are in a low traffic area in a high density population, such as an alleyway that meets up with a body of water. Maybe there's a canal going through the town. This is something that you can ride a boat through and if you need to easily walk over it, it's not too fancy, it's not gonna draw any focus, it's not gonna catch your eye. Sometimes that's a good thing though. Next up on the other hand is something of similar style that I would use if there is more traffic running through it. If these are connecting two main roads or side roads, two districts of a town or something, it's covered from the rain, it's got nice railings, this is something that you'd be looking at to place in an area of higher traffic than this one. And let's raise it up a little bit with this bridge right here. Very easy to pass through, a lot of clearance. My favorite thing about this bridge is that you get that nice immersive feeling of being high up above the water. You get a real nice vantage point from here and that can really help your immersion. And just in case it wasn't clear, here is a nice view of the roofs and how I did them. And the final bridge is something that I would consider in an area that is very high traffic, but you don't want a big grandiose bridge. This one is built with the thought that maybe there's two lanes of traffic. People are walking this direction on this side, this direction on this side. There is a lighting inside of it on top. I have a light sensor set to turn on at night and it has two domed roofs that meet up in the middle. Connect them both. Here's the archways in the middle. It gives a nice feeling of looking through and seeing all the archways. And again, here's a view of the roof. The slabs are a pain in the butt to place, but once you do it, it's very worth it. It gives a nice appealing look. You could definitely switch this around to probably have wood pillars and beams here and stone roof here. I bet it will look really good as well. So that's 10 small size bridge designs for you. Let me know if you want a tutorial for medium size or even large size bridges. If you guys like my building, then come over and check out my Let's Build series. It's a Let's Play. You'll hear a lot of build theory and see a lot of details that you won't get in any tutorials. And it's a really good time. Hope I see you there. Follow me on Twitter and I'd love to see pictures of how you use these bridges in your world. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye.